Sergeant Kina here reporting for duty and last we left off in Haunted Island Hero Defense, Hero Defense Haunted Island. I believe we're fighting off some some uh, some vampires and skeletons. As the usual, we haven't had any real encounters with Jack's dad. I think he talked last uh, episode, but other than that, not so much. So we're let's go and uh, and do the next campaign. Yeah, I know about manual targeting. I already know that's fine. We haven't really had an issue with that. Let's go ahead and start this. Yeah, play the map, the Earth Star. Of course, I'll do that. Portrait secret. Did you know you could select? Really? Even if they're off screen, did you also know I could just click the one and two button and not have to click on them at all? Trapped in the old hotel, they're defenseless against the undead. It's unfortunate. Then we'll have to clear the area. Yeah, clear that area. All right. Uh. Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 no, cancel, cancel. What's happening? Yes. Double range. Let me... Oh, okay, he's not here yet. God damn it. It's time. Oh my god, uh, you know why I'm doing this? Do oh no, 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 no. I'm just so used to, um, I was just playing a bunch of Life in Bunker, so I keep clicking the wrong buttons now. So they all come from that same direction, but sometimes they split and go that way. Alright, that's all I needed to know. And, uh, this guy is not here yet, unfortunately, so that's going to cause a little bit of problems because skeletons are not strong against that. Wait, did I have an option to choose who I could have first? I probably just bamboozled on myself really bad. Uh, I'm going to have to use this, unfortunately. I didn't want to use it, but... It's a necessity at this point. There we go. If we didn't, we would have had a real bad time, I think. But now we got vampires coming. Oh, but they're super defensive vampires. I need to really stop pressing those buttons. Yes, Jack. Yes, it's time. Yes. Ah, it's time. Okay, Jack. We're where? Oh, wow. We're just annihilating them. Okay. I like in this. That charge upgrade we just did? Mmm. Very good. Ah, oh, here we go. Oh, it we have to summon him using the monster orb. Oh. I didn't know that. Well, that's nice to know. Actually, I like that quite a bit. We should be fine, though. Ooh, a boss monster? Kind of want to... Yeah, let's replace you for now so you can get, like, the mega range down on this guy and then we'll have what slow zombies we haven't had zombies before so that should be interesting hey you ain't that you ain't that big plus we got Jack shooting like freaking five billion bolts at once now which is great yes five whole billion uh, zombies are probably weak against both to be 100% honest weak against both um, piercing and what you call it? My oh. bolts are useless. They just stick in their dead flesh. I guess that makes sense. And my holy water barely slows them down. Is that so? Oh. Came to the rescue. Aha! Stand new person. Or burn with the corpses, old men. Nice. Yeah, we got a new person. Hell yeah. I'm gonna have her come over here coming. and have her double range up. Oh my god. Sam Ham does area damage. Okay. She's perfect against huge zombie hordes. Awesome. Burn them all. This should be cool. I, I, I was wondering when we were going to get our next person. I was very curious. Alright, is he, he's in the zone? Yeah, that's that's some pretty big damage. Yeah, that's... Yeah, mm, that fire damage. Hell yeah, I'm liking that. We'll definitely be upgrading you. As soon as we have the uh, the the monster orb, there you go. Charge upgrade. Probably was just a range upgrade. Awesome. I'm liking that. We can keep that up. I'd be a very happy person. I'm liking the damage. I'm liking what this person can do. New new persons are all. Oh my God! Stop. No. Just tell me where it's on my way. No. Stop it. You know? Could you just stop it, Jack? Go over here. There we go. Trying to drag the screen. 
just doesn't do well. Yeah, when I press W or stuff like that, I'm, I'm so used to, you know, the, using like the, the keyboard controls to go up and down, but it's just not happening today. Alright, more zombies. It shouldn't be that big of a problem. What is she? Is she doing pumpkins? That's hilarious, actually. Yeah, they're getting it pretty messed up. I'm liking it a lot. We can just keep this up all day. I'm having her all the time, alright? Just burn those zombies. Nobody likes zombies, alright? Well, I would think so. So we're gonna have some fast. Are these guys gonna be on a horse? Oh, he's gonna be a boss. He's gonna be mounted. Oh, and they're gonna come together. We have some armored um, uh, vampires coming next, so we will switch um, Jack out for San in a little bit. We'll probably upgrade Jack just because Jack has the better ru ruins, R runes, runes. There we go. Not ruins, runes um, on his bar with the double shots and stuff, which is just a much bigger damage increase overall. Yeah, whoa, okay, so she has double throw ability too, I just realized that. It's not, I thought she always threw two, but I'm seeing one and two come out sometimes. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade you. Jack doing the massive damages with the spikes. All right, here's when the two just... Oh, it's a boss armored guy. Okay, hold on. Jack needs to go... Jack needs to go over here, you fuck. There we go. He needs that double range. So he can do the massive damages. There we go. Hell yeah. Get slowed. Damn, we were wrecked a reno That's what I'm talking about. All right. We can go ahead and charge you up and place you here. Double range, everything should be fine, and then we'll go ahead and switch sand back on. And I don't know, what will we put sand back on? I don't know. We'll probably just put sand up here. But I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how the next wave goes, because the next wave is going to be a double wave, and so I don't know if that's going to be very good or not. It's gonna be difficult for sure. But we'll see. The massive range is definitely helping out. I like the I love these shrines. Shrines are so cool in the map. I think it's probably one of the my favorite things about this that tower defense game. Um, is, the, is the shrines. They just add a little extra element to the to the map. Then you have shrines that only certain people can use that make them like super powerful. It's, it's real cool. Another whore! The corpses are mine! The rest are yours. All right. <laughs> you remind me of myself when I was young. Such fire. I like it. Well, you you you, you lit uh, zombies on fire when you were young? That's uh, interesting for sure. Oh, okay. So it is a boss. So it's this bo big boss guy, and then it's also zombies behind him. Okay. Oh, uh, definitely freeze them. I completely forgot. We should have froze them a long time ago. Get him! Get him! He's so close! There we go. Yeah, if we didn't freeze them, that would have been bad. And then, I guess we can switch you back over to here, and then I, I'm just gonna upgrade you. Oh, okay, so there's a might one coming up, too. So this wasn't too bad. I like it. I like her. She is a nice addition to our crew. I think there's still two more people that we can get into the game. Um, I'm not exactly sure what their abilities are. I knew her, she would be like the mage type because in like the in the front of the screen you see her with the fire, so I was like, alright, she's gonna be like a mage kind of. But really, she's just throwing, you know, fiery pumpkins around. But I'm wondering what the other ones are gonna be. I'm gonna have to pay attention to what they look like. You guys will need me if you wanna get past the queen of corpses. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the team, pumpkin. That sounds weird. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. Sam Hain. Burn them achievement! Alright, I like that. Well, I expect it's gonna be easy. Soul Reaper Ruin. Uh, if this ruin is charged, creeps have a chance to drop extra or Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I was like, what What does that mean? I don't understand. I'm sure this, she's gonna level up like an ass ton. Yep. Uh-huh. There's two level- Oh, uh, okay, yep. Another level right there. A little bit, and then a bunch of levels for you, probably. Townspeople saved. I mean, we pretty much got a perfect score, so. 
Alright, yeah, she's got a lot of skill points. Alright, continue. It'll probably take us back into town. We'll do some upgrades, and then that'll probably be it for this episode. Alright, so... Oh, it like tells them how much damage they do and stuff. Alright, well, I want to look at you. I want to see what your abilities are. 10% uh, damage, attack damage for a skill level. Alright. 10% blast radius. 5% attack speed. Uh, chance to burn them into damage over time. And then twice the firepower, twice the kills. You have a chance of manifesting two pumpkins. All right, I want to do that for sure. That's a pretty nice one. Let's go ahead and do like two of these upgrades. And we got one more skill point left. Uh, what's this one down here? Is it any good? Curse. <laughs> okay. All right. I like the sound of that. But uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the burning one. Because this looks real cool up here. Yeah, plus one shrapnel of carpet bombing, so that means like it's gonna do extra damage upon impact to everyone. All right. See so if we can do any upgrades to you. No, not really, but we can. Uh, actually, 10% radius splash damage. Hmm. Okay, so it slows multiple enemies now if they're really close to each other. We can do that. And then how about you, Jack? What do you want? All right, ricochet plus one multi hit on level three and five. Kill two fiends with one bolt, your bolts have a chance to jump to more- Yes! Hell yeah, that sounds awesome. I want that. Real bad. Two upgrades right there. Boom. Perfect. So that's gonna be pretty high. Well, we could minus one off. And then have the chance to add the- Oh no, we don't have enough points for that, I guess. Uh... What about this? What's this? Let's do this. Let's do this. So we can get closer to this insta-kill shot, which it sounds pretty damn cool. All right. Now can we... Let's let's look at our uh, weapons. We gotta look at what kind of ruins we can go ahead and, and drop in on some people. So... I am gonna throw a Might Ruin down in there. I just think that would be a good ruin to have. And uh, for her, I'm also gonna... What's this one? Chance for the ah the additional projectile and then range range. I think hers is pretty good. Maybe we can do like the Soul Reaper. Yeah, because she hits multiple targets, so that might be pretty good actually. Pickpocket ruin, I don't really care about. Reduced uh, charge cost, not that big of a deal. But Jack is still doing the massive damages because of the multi increase. Blah blah blah. Yeah, still in the 400. She got up to 300 though, so she's already passing Barrows. Okay, these are the two next people. She has a bat. She has like, I'm assuming those are going to be like boomerangs, you know, you know, slicing boomerangs. So we'll see, you know, what they specialize in. Like, you know, because Jack's good against vampires, he's good against skeletons, she's good against uh, zombies. We'll see where that that leads us to. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode right here, and I'll see you guys next time with many more Hero Defense Haunted.